Hey, let's do some quick chemistry. We've got a chemical equation here. Whenever we've got an equation, we need to balance it. And today, the, we're going to look at how we determine types of chemical reactions. There's five major types. This is kind of the thought process you can use. So to balance it, I've got one lithium in my reactants, one in my products, two bromines in the reactants, one in the product. So I know I have to double that. And then, looking back across, now I have two lithiums. So we need to come across and double that. So now I have a balanced chemical equation. When we're determining reactants, or when we're determining the type of reaction, I like to look at the structure. So we have two reactants and only one product. There's only one reaction type that matches this, and this is a synthesis. So synthesis reactions take single reactants, multiples, and combine them into a single product. So we've got multiple things on the left, only one thing on the right, it's gotta be a synthesis. So that's a simple example. Let's look at another one. We've got a longer equation here. This one's a little tougher of a balance, so I'm going to make a list and we'll kind of see as we go aluminum, hydrogen, chlorine, aluminum, hydrogen, and chlorine. Keep them in the same order. I've got one aluminum, one hydrogen, and one chlorine. In my products, we have one aluminum, three chlorines now, and two hydrogens. So this is going to cause a problem because my hydrogen and chlorine are attached to each other here. So I got to find a factor. Three and two, they multiply up to six. So the first thing I'm going to do, I know I need to get them up to six each. So I'm just going to take and drop a six in front there. So now I've got six hydrogens and six chlorines in my pro or in my reactants. Back to the products for hydrogen. Two times three is six. So that's good. Chlorine, I've got three of them, so I'm going to double this to give me six chlorine. And then aluminum here, I've got two of them, so we come back into our reactants, and now we've got two there. So this is a little bit of a back and forth. Again, use your strategies to balance them. So now I have a balanced chemical equation. What type of reaction is this, though? Well, if you look carefully, aluminum is on its own in the reactants, and the products is paired up with my chlorine, and the hydrogen is on its own. So this is a single displacement or a single replacement. Single replacement. That single replacement, if you use a general formula, a general structure, so this would be chemical A and then compound BC. When we're done, aluminum is paired up with C, right, my chlorine, and B, hydrogen is on its own. So A has booted C out of the product, or I'm sorry, booted B out of the product to get a new product. So single replacement follows that pattern. A, B, C gives you AC or some other combination. Uh, it could be AB with C thrown off on its own, doesn't matter. So that's how you determine reaction type. Remember, there's five types. Pay attention to those patterns. I'll do some more worked examples in a future video. Thanks for watching.